First thing Monday morning, we headed to the parts store to order the parts for the bus. Uh, 13 gauge steel or aluminum. Uh, that's the doodle. Yeah, I don't care. That's just a piece of part. Okay. So I will see it in the morning. So we got our step one done. Right, we got our flex pipe ordered for the bus. That it was, was scary. Man. How much was that? It was a hundred bucks. Okay, 100 bucks. but we get to cut two feet off of a ten foot stick, and then they reimburse us the rest of it. Since the truck should be finished in just a few days, we decided to load up and get ready for the road. cool with this blue raspberry frozen icy so as you see i'm trying to get into a popsicle that i can't freaking get into well it's because, 90 know, degrees dangerous. it's 90 freaking degrees outside we're trying to get into a pe so, popsicle the shop called again tranny hasn't made it there yet are you serious yeah all the rest of the work is done they're just waiting How for this transmission to get there there it's not there this is where you need to add that because I'm so upset. It is so hot. I just and it's to only going to be in the 80s. Like from here on out, we have to leave. I just want to get Soon. my transmission to go. And now the stove don't work. Yeah. So let's let's well, recap oven. everything that's broke in Hevesu. Distributor earlier in the year. Transmission, exhaust, oven. Coincidence? I don't know. So, we're hoping for Thursday now? Yep. Well, this is what he said. He said, everything else on the truck is done. And... You can tell you're eating a popsicle. <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> it's cold, but it's hot. Okay, brain freeze. Brain freeze. Not me, him. <laughs> so Thursday. Okay, so the, the guy the said... The transmission hasn't wait, arrived yet. No, and right. And they're hoping to get it in and get it fixed tomorrow. So right now, we're just trying to stay cool. And trying to stay sane. <laughs> and 
next day we go in to get the parts and lo and behold the parts ain't there so while Jennifer waited on the inside for the parts I went outside and cut my two foot section of pipe I needed So, I guess the clamps got held up in Parker, so we either got to wait till tomorrow and do this all over again, or we go to O'Reilly's, and they said they have three inch clamps, so. There's the bus, and there's O'Reilly's. That's where our band clamps are. Got them? Yes, 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 yes. Everyone that has the, has like the turbo diesel, they call those, the ones that run up and they call those band clamps. Oh, thank goodness. I'm yeah, looking for them. Uh, I thought for a second. I thought for a minute they weren't going to have it. I so, so thought they weren't going to have up, it. The first clamp he brings up is for an intake boot for turbo on a diesel. I'm like, uh uh. And then the next thing he shows me is a U clamp for an exhaust, but it's, you don't want to use that on a flex pipe exhaust. So then he finally goes, are they really wide? And I'm like, yeah, and he said, oh, they're down there. And there, there they are. Them. So now we can go fix our bus. Yep. Yay! And then the shop called. Okay. What's wrong? They said the wrong transmission. Are you serious? Yes. If you gotta call the guy back. And either they got the transmission on the shelf there, and he can have it tomorrow, or the guy's got to build the transmission, and it'll be a couple more days. Unfortunately, we found out the shop was going to take a few more days, so we went looking for one last adventure before we leave town. The adventures we end up finding in each place we go are simply endless. This is why we do it. This is why we live in a school bus and travel around the country. To enrich our lives by adding different kinds of experiences, cultures, and people, and to learn from them all. And because even if we end up stuck in some town in the middle of nowhere, we are still together. And that's really all that matters. <laughs>